take the sword. We'll cast mana magic. Then mana sword will appear. So basically, um, what I need to do here is cast mana sword. Mana magic, sorry, I should say. On Jake. And there it is. And by casting both of it, can I can I switch? <laughs> you're, you're, and there we go. We revived the mana sword. Now I can switch to Jake, and I can start leveling up. Uh, basically, what I want to do is, if I could get it up to level eight, but I don't. I don't have the proper. Uh, leveling for that. So we're going to try to get it up to level 7. And then we shall take on... Well, we can't really avoid that. But we're going to take on the Mana Beast down there. Uh, he does have a couple attacks. Uh, none of which I'm particularly scared about. But he does quite a bit of damage over time. And down descends Flammy Senior. <laughs> Why game? Why is it a Flammy? All right. Down he goes, and uh, it faded. Of course it did. All right, back on. You would think that level seven would be good enough for it to last quite a bit here. And I believe only only Jake is going to be able to damage this guy. Uh, I think I can get it up to level uh, five here before he. Before he runs off. Alright, there we go! There we go, 500 damage in there, he flies off. Alright, switch over, and we need to heal again. Uh, so I have been saving all of my fairy walnuts for this. Uh, if you time it right, you can hit them there. I've never been able to do that, um, especially with the charged up attack. Alright, so off he goes again. This is going to be a long and drawn out fight. There's not much that I can do about that, unfortunately because of how little I can attack him. But hopefully we can do a decent amount. And here he comes again. These attacks are unavoidable. Damn, he's not doing much to, to Jake. <laughs> All right, come on, get up here. I can hit him down there, you're saying? No, let's hit him here. There you go, 500 more. Try to level up again. Come on, we can do it. Ah, magic faded again. Damn you. <laughs> Damn you to hell. Okay, mana magic. Mana magic. You want to keep uh, the sprite, you want to keep Yancey's magic uh, pretty much up to uh, 30, the, the MP, uh, before this fight if you can. You don't want to waste too much. All right, I can get up to level 5, I think, before I attack again. Nope, nope. Uh, uh. There, we got him. Good. And another heal. Oh. Uh, and then let's try to go for the... the uh, I think the mana magic carries over. <laughs> I'm not 100% on that, though. I think the, the mana magic will carry over from when I last use it, not necessarily from the first time I use it. Okay, so here comes the attack again. Could not avoid that, but yeah, there we go. We, we receive it or revive it. I'm having trouble reading today. I'm so focused on the fight with the Super Flammy. Which in itself is kind of sad. We have to fight freaking our airship. Well, it's not necessarily... It isn't Flammy. I should clarify. This is not Flammy. It is, it is a mana beast. Very similar to Flammy, but like grown up and, and ferocious. Uh, even when you whack it with something else, it does not. Uh, can I get it up to level 7? Yes! There we go. Let's try this again. Trying to get as much damage as I can. We're, we're getting, you know, a thousand around and up to level 2. And fade it again. Okay. So, another heal. We got this, though. We got this. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. 
and you do the same thing. I think we need them both to do it at the same time, to be honest with you. I've always done it that way. Okay, back on the main sword. Let's try to level that up again. Oh, looks like they say that I only need to do it for one of them. Alright, I'll try that next time. I'm, I'm, I am trying to do some experimenting in this fight because I, I, I haven't done it very often. Um, this fight. When can I hit him? Right now? I can! Nice! It's always good to keep an eye on your partners. They are good for that. Damn it! Why'd you use it on him? Could have been anybody else. But no, it had to be him. The only guy that can attack you. Are you serious? Are you serious, freaking mana beast? <laughs> Are you serious? Come on, we got this. We got this up to level 7 there. But that's all I'm going to get today. Alright. Uh, heal again. I don't think that actually hit Cheon at all. Alright, can I just do the one mana magic here? No, what am I doing? On you. On you. Alright, I think I can. I think I can just do the one. Apparently I used to play this very stupidly. And I did for the first part of this fight. Nope, nope, there it goes again. It did not did not work. Uh, Jake. Alright. So either it didn't stack or I screwed it up or, or whatever. I'll stick with what I know works. I'll stick with what I know. Yeah, they can hear it and I don't have the full setup yet. Yeah, it gets whacked for zero damage. Good job, guys. Good job. You guys are working very nicely for me. Okay. No! Why? Why, Mana Beast? You know that I'm the only one that can attack you. Oh, this is going to be a long fight. Long indeed. Alright, up to level 7 and whack. 500 more. Level it up until it starts to move again. There we go. Only got a level 1 that time, unfortunately. Alright, let's heal again. Across the board. Even if that finished him off, he would have lived through some elaborate means. Okay. Back to Shia. No. There we go. Back on Jake. Okay. Revive the Man of Sword. It, yeah, it happens twice. And it, I mean, that definitely implies that I should be able to just use one character to do that, but I struggle with that. For whatever reason, I can't get that to work, so I just do it with both of them, and it works out better for me. So I'm going to stick doing that. I mean, I've got the MP for it, definitely. When can I hit it? When can I hit it? Now. Okay. 5.30. All right, we're getting there. Even if it's if it's only a thousand each time, stop doing losing cream on me. You absolute dick. Can I cast wall? I never thought about that. Can I cast wall on him? I'll tr I'll, I'll try after this attack because this is starting to get ridiculous. How much he's focusing on Jake? Are you serious? You're just gonna spam it now? There right, you got whacked again. Okay. Um, oh, I don't want to do that because because of the physical damage. Yeah. Then we can't heal. Healing is good. That's why you don't want to do it. Uh, I, I've thought this through. Sort of. <laughs> okay. Come on. Nope. Yes. That. That. Uh, you can time these magic so that you won't get hit by his stuff, but... I've never been good at that kind of timing. So I stick with what I know. What I know works. It's just probably not the most effective way of doing it. <laughs> I fully understand that, though. Fully. Alright. Come back up. When can I hit him? When can I hit him? Now. 540. It, uh, whacking him doesn't seem to do anything. Stop hitting him with your damn Lucent Beam. Damn you, Mana Beast! Damn you! And... No, he can hit one more. Are you serious? Okay. God. Why? 
Why? I'm trying to level up his attack, damn it! I'm not going to be able to get that up to level 7 again. I know it. So once he starts moving, yep, there we go. Did I miss him? Oh, you dick. Okay, uh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try a wall on Jake. We're going to try it. Wait, what about the fucking mana sword? Damn it! This is not a good plan. <laughs> this isn't a good plan at all. He needs mana magic still. Even though level 7 you would think would last a while. And it doesn't even repel that? Yeah, magic faded. Alright, can I do this? Will that... Yeah, it still goes through. It still goes through. What the hell? I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Alright, let's heal again. I don't understand your logic sometimes, game. Everything I know. And we healed him because the healing... Ow, my head. Okay, the healing counters... Oh, and he just cast a spell magic. So that's why you don't cast wall. Okay. I was wondering. I'm like, I never saw a strategy that said cast wall. But th that, that would explain it. God. You damn troll, baby beast. Now I have to hit you again because I fucking healed you. He dispelled it, though. He dispelled the wall. Alright. And then we need to heal again. Jeez. I think that, that, no, that last attack isn't avoidable either. Alright, and then, no, yes, go for this. Right. Come on, Jake, we got this. God, this is a long, drawn-out fight. And it's not even, it's not even because of his, his HP. He does have the, the highest HP in the game by a mile. Um, he's got... 9999 HP, if I remember correctly. I think it's just the four nines. But, the real thing is that you can barely... There's barely any time for you to hit him. Wow, you level it up to 7 and he just stabbed. That was awesome. Why can't you do that more often? He, on him, of course. Come on, Jake. We got this. <laughs> we got this, Jake. Come on. Seven. Boom. 208. What? The hell, game? No, hit him. Damn it. All right, another heal. Now, Shion's avoiding that because she's casting a spell. That's that's the only reason there. Okay. One a couple more rounds, at least. Jeez. I... I... I make no assumptions that I'm doing this better than anybody else has ever done this. Not at all. I assume that I'm doing this pretty damn badly, actually. I've never been a master of this fight because, to be honest, I don't like it very much. Uh, <laughs> but I think I've already made that clear as to why. Come on, we got this. We got this. Ow. Okay, he came from the top this time, so I can't hit him from the bottom. Either way, we got this. How many d damn grand entrances do you have to make? Alright, now I can hit him. Did that... Did I not do any damage to him because he was casting the magic? This is... This is starting to get ridiculous, game. This is... This is seriously starting to piss me off. Especially with how often you're spamming this now. Alright, hit him! Alright, 500 more! <laughs> oh god, now heal everybody! We, that should be good there. And then... One more of this. We got a ton of HP, or sorry, MP left, don't we? Yeah, we got plenty. Plenty of, of MP. All right, come on, let's let's level this up. <laughs> I want to kill the damn mana beast. We can do it. We can kill Super Flammy. Damn it, Super Flammy, get back here. 
We will destroy you! Ow! Alright, coming from the bottom again. How many more of these do I have to go? Another 500. We should be getting close! We should be getting close, but if he keeps on doing that, it's going to make it very difficult for me, especially if he spams it on Jake all the damn time. Last time you, you cast it on them, that was nice. That was nice. Come on. I know with this fight, I need to charge, by the way. Like, I think if I don't charge, I don't do like, any damage. I thought for a second that I'd beat him. No. No, he's just... Yeah, I don't... I don't think that I hit him there. Uh, but we need to heal again. We also need to keep the mana sword going. Mana sword on Jake. Mana sword on Jake. Okay. We got this. We got this. We gotta be getting pretty damn close here. I mean, at 9999 with as much damage as I'm doing, I only need to hit him like 20 times. How many have I done already? Feels like I've done more than that. Ow. Stop hitting me. Get down here. Get down here so I can smite you with my sword. Damn you, Super Flammy. Damn you, Mana Beast. Come on, get down here. Alright, there we go. 500 and something. Not good enough. <laughs> oh, God. I know we healed him that one time, but that was only for like 400. So, still we're looking at like... You know, 21 hits. Come on. Down he goes. Down goes the Mana Beast. And we have beaten Secret of Mana. That is the final boss. Down he goes. Oh, that was drawn out. <laughs> Sorry that took me so long, but seriously. Ah, and we have won. We have done it. We have saved the world! We have restored mana. Hopefully. We'll see. What does Yancy have to say about this? What? Where is Yancy? Yancy! Damn it, Jonesy! Don't di don't ditch me now! <laughs> He's gone. Damn it! Don't give him that gender. I didn't even say goodbye. So we haven't restored mana, it looks like. Yancy. Damn it, Jonesy! You ditched me at my last moment. You don't see. I'll never forget you. Ever. Me too. Ditto. And dialect too, I guess. Kind of. He wasn't as important as Yonzi. We couldn't have done this without Yonzi, let's be honest. But we must be strong. The Mana Beast is turning into snow. And that's the game! Um, wow, I have a lot to talk about with this game, to be honest with you. Um, I have a lot of mixed emotions about this game. I loved this game when I first played it. Um, it wasn't, I didn't play it when I was on the Super Nintendo. I played it when... Um, when I had the PlayStation. Um, I played it on the Super Nintendo, but not, not in those days. I had the PlayStation at the time. Uh, but coming... And I loved it then. Coming back now, though, I find myself a lot more frustrated than I was the first time uh, by the battle system, by the, the lack of the plot. Um, so, you, you know, my emotions are mixed. I, this, is, this is a classic, right? This is, this is a game that has a lot... Of, of fans to it. It's still considered one of the one of the best RPGs of the era. However, I find a lot of flaws with it this time. Um, the battle system, I feel, is, is very flawed. Really? Are we? Uh, there's no way we're already done. No, we're still going. Uh, uh, the battle system is pretty flawed because of how often you miss. How the how pretty much you have to. Um, level up, your, charge your, your weapons at times, um, how magic is completely overpowered, let's be honest. Uh, 
<laughs> you saw me completely wreck house with with the uh, with the spirits and and just using Yancey. I mean Yancey by her, by himself, herself, itself, Yancey's self could have completely wiped everything out. Um, in terms of the plot, I do feel it is bare bones. I feel like there isn't very much depth until the end, until we get to the mana tree. Um, it's pretty much all shoved in the back there. And really, when I start thinking about what was coming out at the time, um, I think that in America, we, we tend to put this game on a higher platform than they do in Japan. Japan still loves this game, don't get me wrong, and, and it is a good game. I'm not saying this is not a good game, despite how much I, I may complain about it. It's, it is a good game. Uh, but I think that one of the reasons that America likes it so much more is because there wasn't necessarily as many RPGs coming out here in America. I mean, this came out between uh, Final Fantasy 4 in America, right, Final Fantasy 2, and Final Fantasy 6, which was Final Fantasy 3 here. It came out between those. Uh, Dragon Warriors, we had 1 through 4. Um, Japan had 1 through 5. Uh, Japan also had Breath of Fire, I believe. It, Breath of Fire was right around the same time. And um, they had Final Fantasies 1 through 5. And it, if I start thinking about it that way, is this game better than, let's say, Final Fantasy V? Um, I think the graphics definitely are better. There's there's no doubt in my mind. The graphics are really good in this game, and they you can tell that it was pretty much a, a major inspiration for Chrono Trigger, which I also love the, the, the art style for. In terms of the music, I, I think it's kind of forgettable, to be honest with you. Is it good? Yes. Is it great? I wouldn't say so. Um, but the plot in, in this game, I felt, is bare bones until the end. Um, when we look at what we were doing, what our personal motivations are, character development, I think there there's something there, but th I don't think there's nearly enough. And I don't think I'm being too harsh considering that this came out after Final Fantasy IV. And I think Final Fantasy IV did change uh, the depth that was really necessary in uh, RPGs. Uh, but really, even Final Fantasy II, I feel, has, has more character development in it than, than this game, if we're, if we're being honest. Um, but that's, that's a whole other topic. Uh, the, the best thing about this game, I mean, let me go through some of the good things about this game, because I feel like I've been focusing on the, the complaints too much. The graphics, like I said, amazing um, for its time, for an RPG, I should say. Uh, there were other Super Nintendo games that had not necessarily a similar art style, but were pretty much as good on a on a one to one basis. But in terms of RPGs, something like this I felt was was very influential on what happened. I mean, we have a full sprite. We can see hair. We can see movement um, on him. Um, when before that, kind of only really been reserved if you were lucky for battles. For, for the, the turn-based battles. Um, on top of the, the graphics, the ability to play multiplayer. Also, very revolutionary co-op action RPGs. And we finally make it back to our hometown, and they are happy for us, and so it's time to return the Mana Sword. And I still wanted to talk about so much more about this game. I know I focus so much on the complaints, but the ability to have multiplayer, which, to be honest, I, I, I probably wouldn't would I've never really taken advantage of um, is is a highlight. And there, there's Yancey. H how you doing, buddy? Oh, there you go. Um, the ability to play multiplayer in this game revolutionary for action RPGs. Um, definitely underutilized by me. Uh, I didn't have any friends even when I, you know when I was playing PlayStation and, and Nintendo 64. That was willing to go through an RPG with me. Uh, I had a couple friends that were playing RPGs. Um, one of them pretty much just um, Zelda at the time, if you consider that an RPG. Most people do, uh, but some, sometimes I, I question it. And some other guy that was, and one other guy that was going through Final Fantasies, uh, but you know, 
both me and that guy were kind of, you know, solitary RPG players. It was it, it had never really occurred to us to bring a multiplayer in. I, I did play a little bit multiplayer. Uh, it can get quite slow and annoying. I, I felt when I was um, the boy, the main character, I was Randy. His official name is his default name. And uh, the person I was playing with was were both magic casters because at the time I hadn't played the game didn't know the magic so pretty much as we're going through he's doing all the work and I'm just kind of sitting here going hooray we won <laughs> so the multiplayer to me it, it feels like the game focused on that so much that it kind of detracted from a lot of the other things that were prevalent in RPGs at the time that's just my thoughts on it uh, but I have talked for too long I, overall I give this game um, an 8 out of 10 um, maybe an eight and a half for when it came out, and maybe low as low as a seven and a half for a modern gamer to go back and play it now. Uh, th that's just my view on the game. Once again, good game. Um, not necessarily the best, to be honest. I think Sword of Mana is is better, um, which is kind of hard to compare the two. But I mean, Sword of Mana came out ten years later, so of course they made improvements. Uh, but I feel like that didn't get the recognition it deserved compared to Secret of Mana. With that all said, and that was a lot said, that is going to do it for this Let's Play. I will be back with bonus videos, but that is the finale of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my victorious squad of Jake Sheon and Yancey. Hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>